So iPhone unavailable is showing on your guy's iPhone. And wondering how to fix it to make the iPhone usable again. Today's video is going to show you what to do when your iPhone is unavailable. iPhone unavailable is the same thing as iPhone is disable message in the past. It happens after you enter too many passcodes that are wrong. At the first few times, you will get iPhone unavailable with a timer, prompting you to try again with the passcode anywhere from 1 to 60 minutes. But if you need to wait for a longer period of time, like 3 hours or even 8 hours being stuck on the iPhone unavailable or security lockout screen, you will be crazy. Now you can't access your data or any information on the device, or maybe all your data and settings will be permanently deleted, because fixing an iPhone that becomes unavailable requires an erasure and reset. Apple claims that after erasing and resetting your unavailable iPhone, you can set it up again and restore the information from an old backup. But if you don't have any backup in place, anything on your iPhone has been essentially lost when you got stuck on iPhone unavailable screen. But at the very least, restoring your phone to factory settings takes it back up to being available. Alright, be relaxed with the data loss. The very first thing is to resolve iPhone unavailable issue and get it working again. We'll use recovery mode to restore the phone by means of two tools. Either way will factory reset the iPhone and erase all your data and settings, giving you access to set up the device and use a backup to restore it. The first one is iTunes. You'll need a Windows 10 computer, a USB cable that came with your iPhone. If you're using a Mac with macOS Catalina or later, use Finder instead to restore the unavailable iPhone. Okay, turn off your iPhone as you do as normal, and make sure it's totally off. Then, put your iPhone into recovery mode. This involves a certain button depending on your device. I use an iPhone 12, so I press and hold the side button while immediately connecting the iPhone to the computer using the USB cable. Keep holding the button until the recovery mode screen display on the iPhone screen. With the iPhone connected and going in recovery mode, iTunes or Finder should open. You should see the option to update or restore your iPhone. Here, click Restore to proceed. Next, you'll get another pop-up asking whether you're sure to restore your iPhone to its factory setting with all media and data erased and newer software installed. Confirm this by clicking Restore and Update option. This way, your computer begins downloading software from Apple and then restore the unavailable iPhone. This may take a few minutes. When the download time takes over 15 minutes, your device might exit recovery mode. But don't worry, just wait until the download completes, then turn off your iPhone and re-enter recovery mode. Wait for the iPhone to be restored and all data and lock screen passcode to be erased. Once your iPhone restarts, disconnect it from the computer and set up from the scratch. You will also get the options to restore your iPhone with a recent backup. That's done. Your iPhone is no longer unavailable anymore after restoring with recovery mode in iTunes on your computer. The second tool is AppGeeker iPhone Unlocker, by which to factory restore the iPhone that's unavailable and unlock it. Again, all content along with the forgotten passcode will be wiped off. Alright, go to appgeeker.com and you can download iPhone Unlocker here. Once you install the software properly, launch it. Then turn off your iPhone and place it into recovery mode as we did in previous method. If iTunes opens at this time, close it. On iPhone Unlocker program screen, choose Wipe Passcode and click Start button. You should see the device information of your iPhone on the screen. Check the details and click Start button. The tool downloads appropriate iOS software for your iPhone. Wait until it's finished. Once iOS firmware is downloaded, enter four zeros to confirm your decision and hit unlock button to initial the process of resetting your iPhone to factory settings to bypass the unavailable error. If you have a good broadband internet connection, the download will be completed in a fast manner. Your iPhone will finally go back to setup screen, meaning that your iPhone unavailable issue has been fixed. Go through the setup process and restore a backup to your iPhone. So guys, that's how to fix the issue with iPhone unavailable.
You should now know how to get the unavailable iPhone into recovery mode to factory restore it and make it usable again. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Feel free to leave your question about your unavailable iPhone in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.